is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing our very first what's in the police trunk gear review where we're going to be reviewing gear such as police related stuff like maybe this bike, duty belts, book bags, flashlights, tactical stuff, just about anything that can fit in a police trunk or that you might have inside of a police trunk. Now typically and eventually this is where I want to have the what's in the police trunk take place back here with the wheeling equipment showing and like my police car shirts that are now available on fedsapparel.com, link down below. This is where I wanna do the review out of what this is the backdrop. However, as you can see, we still got some stuff and we gotta clean it up and I wanna build this a little bit more like a little platform so we could do the reviews here. But uh, we're gonna work with what we got. We got this bike and we got uh, the front of the car. So let's go back over there. Uh, with that being said, today we're going to be reviewing this electric bike. It's a folding electric bike made by Jetson. I bought it actually for my son for Christmas and surprisingly I've been getting a lot of use out of it and I'll tell you a little bit about it. So in police work there's a lot of different uses for bikes such as high visibility or if you want to do some community engagement or even a fast bike response team like we've been seeing nowadays with crowd control where, where units will come out on bicycles and control a whole crowd with different techniques. My thoughts were, man, this would actually be good for police work, but maybe not all of it, but maybe some of it, but I wanted to talk a little bit about that today in this video. Um, I'm just gonna give my take on this bike. I'm sure you can see a lot of reviews on this bike. However, uh, being a law enforcement officer, I can relate it to how it could be useful in police work. Now, I always wanted an electric bike, and they are a little pricey. However, um, this one comes in when we bought it around 350 bucks. Uh, you can find it under $400 now. When we bought it, it was Black Friday for Christmas. We were able to take advantage of those Black Friday deals and get this for Christmas. Actually, if you still believe in Santa Claus, then uh, Santa Claus bought it. Forget everything I just said. Price range just under 400 bucks. I'll link it down below. What? Okay. Before I shot the video, I came up with this whole script and pros and cons, did my research, had everything in line. Now I'm looking at Amazon.com and they no longer offer the bike. The only place you can get it is at the website RideJetson.com and it's now $5.99. So the price has gone up and it says back in stock. So what I assume is maybe they ran out, uh, it was under high demand and they bumped up the price a little bit. So the Bolt Pro electric bike is only available at this point at RideJetson.com. So stay tuned, let's see if on Christmas they put it back on Amazon. Let's run down some of the specs. So as you can notice it has pedals, so there is a pedal assist. You can use the electric motor feature by twisting this throttle and then it'll help you with the pedaling. Now if you wanna just do solely throttle twist, where you're giving the throttle off the handlebars and not pedaling, the range on this thing is about 15 miles. Now, if you do pedaling, a mixture of pedaling and throttle, you can get up to 30 miles on this. The good thing I always tell about this bike is that if the battery dies, it just turns into a regular bike. And believe it or not, it's pretty comfortable when riding, but we're gonna talk a little bit about that coming up. So the max speed with the throttle is 15.5 miles an hour. Um, for this size bike, I think it's pretty good. It's good enough. It takes about four hours to charge, to fully charge this thing. So if you drain the battery, you plug it into the wall, it's gonna take you about four hours. What I do is every time I'm done riding it, I just put it to charge, and then the next day I'll take it out, boom, it's fully charged. The recommended age is 12 and up. However, my son's 11. He's pretty proficient in riding a bike, um, but I just make sure that he's always wearing a helmet. I mean, as you saw in the intro, this thing can get a little wild. The weight capacity is 265 pounds. Now I weigh in, I fluctuate from like 190 to my heaviest, I'll be 210. But 265 pounds is gonna be about the max weight limit on this bad boy right here. The weight itself comes in just under 45 pounds at 43 pounds, but it has this little handle right here that allows you to grab it and move it uh, move it around easily. So just to go over some of the features and the nomenclature of the bike, we have the power button here. This is what's gonna turn on your bike. Uh, right here comes equipped with a little bell that you could attach. My son loves that. Uh, reflector moving down. This is actually uh, aftermarket. It's where you put your cell phone for GPS and stuff. That I bought that, it's a regular like, buy that at Walmart or something. And here's your little heads up display. It tells you the life of your battery. Right now we're at four green dots, which means we're fully charged. And then once you hold this little button down for three seconds, that turns on the front headlight. So you got a front headlight built in already. Then you have this little latch here that latches down, boom, folds down here. There's another latch here that opens up on the bike seat. 
folds the seat all the way down and this will give you that maximum storage size the smallest the bike can possibly go with this part here this part here has its pedals here um, the motor and everything is back here along with the kickstand easily functional bang bang kickstand so this low profile body style could be helpful when storing in a police car, like if you want to store it in the trunk of a police car or even in the back seat of a police car if you don't have a cage. That small profile really makes it help. So if you're a department that needs to get a whole bunch of bikes for officers, you got to think about storage. Um, this thing, as you can see, is about half the size of a regular bike. And when it folds down, it's about one third the size of a regular bike. So this thing could be in a closet somewhere stored away with three times as many as you could fit a normal size bike. So that's a pro right there. Another pro that it comes built in with, this bad boy has a headlight attached it's a little LED headlight it's pretty bright I mean you're not gonna be able to see it here during the day but at night this thing is pretty bright so it comes in with a built-in headlight where you won't have to purchase any aftermarket lights and then the cost continues to go up so you might buy the base bike like a Trek bike those Trek bikes cost near up to a thousand dollars and then you have to buy all the attached equipment so third pro is gonna be cost this thing comes under four hundred dollars like five ninety nine at rightjitson.com sorry like I said, these Trek bikes can get near words up to $1,000, maybe even higher. So they can get up in price if you have to buy a large amount of them. So it's going to be a little bit costly. This thing costs under 400 bucks, and it's built pretty solid. Um, I've, like I said, I've had it. I've been using it for the last month and a half, I'm just going to and fro the station. And this thing is pretty solid so far. The fourth Pro, it is unbelievably comfortable. This thing is comfortable to ride. It sits. You can adjust the seat to where you want it, the height. The pedals are the same as a normal bike, and the handlebars more or less are the same as a, as a bike. The only thing that's smaller is going to be the frame and the tires. So this thing rides really, really comfortable. And lastly, because it sits so comfortable and rides so much like a normal bike, it's pretty easy to maneuver. Now, I wouldn't do any high-speed tricks with this thing or high-speed maneuvers. However, if you're using it for officers at an event, or just doing normal uh, beat patrol type of work where they're cruising around maybe a mall. This thing is perfect for that. Now the easy to maneuver is going to bring us into our first con. Our first, maybe this is not the best uh, solution for bike patrol. Well, because of the small tires, you might be limited to some of the things and maneuvers you can do on patrol so for instance if you have to go down a flight of stairs and yes we go down flights of stairs so if you have to go down a flight of stairs or even up a flight of stairs these tires are not going to let you roll over or even something as small as a curb not going to let you roll over more than likely it's going to hit stop the tire and you're going to end up going over the front of the handlebars also the turning radius is not as sharp i try to push this thing as much as i can and i don't feel as comfortable with some of the turn radius or the moves I feel like I might lose control uh, at some point. So the so some of the maneuverability is not gonna be as good as you have with large tires, but uh, again, you're getting the bang for your buck here. Another thing with the turn radius is that when you're turning, this is how you throttle the bike. So as you're turning and you're trying to grip the bike and maybe feather the brake, this tweaks a little bit and can throw you off. So I'm having a little bit of trouble on the cones because I'm trying to feather the brake. Tweaking the handle, knocking over cones i know i know i suck another con that you might say is the speed the max speed now for this bike 15.5 miles an hour is plenty but um, other electric bikes can get up to near words up to 30 miles an hour usually around 28 miles per hour that those electric bikes can get so you're going to be going uh, significantly actually about two times as fast as this bike can go However, 15.5 miles an hour in a large city is still plenty fast, trust me. Another thing is nowhere to put your prisoners. Look how small these handlebars are and they definitely can't ride on the back, can't fit pegs on this thing. So if you make an arrest, where are you gonna put them? Another con when relating to police work is the ability to do some of the techniques that we do in order to have some crowd control. So <clears throat> there's a technique and when we do crowd control with bikes where one tire will overlap the other tire um, this way the, the person's back tire will be here this way if the bike pushes then this back is a fixed back tire so it's not going to allow the handlebars to turn uh, it will just bang up against the the fixed back tire so if you're in a line then it's, you, essentially you're making like a little fence so you would pull up to a scene put your bikes in a line stand and then start pushing the crowd back if needed where you would grab the handlebars push the crowd back 
back, 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 put it back down, and you continue pushing forward with your bike. So this thing, even though it's light, lighter on the lighter side, it's still kind of heavy, 43 pounds, uh, small, compact size, 43 pounds. So the weight's not distributed, so you might be in a little more. Um, and these tires are not that big even to put it up again. So if, you, if you're thinking about uh, regular bike tires, it might be this high. So in order to get over, you would have to take a big step. This one, as you see, really small, really small steps. So this is not gonna be ideal for crowd control. There's another technique that officers will use when responding to some kind of fight or some, some kind of situation where they're gonna have to take the subject down. There's a technique called the power slide or even the hook slide where they'll whip the rear tire around, um, hitting their legs out from underneath the subject and then that will put them on the ground where the officer can dismount and then handle business. Doing a power slide on this thing, I don't think um, it would be very successful. Uh, again, like I said, point A to point B um, and hopefully you don't have to do any power slides on the way over to where you're going. So I don't know about power sliding with this thing. Something is good for, something is not. Another con is the weight limit, 265 pounds. And I, again, I, I weigh about 190 pounds. Uh, give or take, but once you start adding equipment, these plate carriers and the duty belts, they can add a lot of weight. So if you're anywhere from like 215 pounds and up and you're wearing a lot of equipment, that could add weight, will put you up to that 265. Now that could be an issue when you're talking about grown adults uh, with a whole bunch of equipment on it. Uh, however, myself, so far, no strain on the motor and it's been lasting pretty long. The battery life is pretty much in par with the specs that it says in the guide. Now the last thing that um, I've been mentioning that it is sturdy. However, I've only been myself riding it for about a month, a month and a half. My son has had it since Christmas. So far so good. However, when you have attachments and you have the folding mechanism that you have to latch here. So I don't know how many times it's gonna be able to fold and unfold without things starting to fall apart. About six months so far, so good. Um, the bike seat going up and down this latch seems to be working good, but questionability about having an officer use it every day on the job, throwing it in and out of the trunk. I can't, I can't put my stamp of approval on it. Uh, however, for me, it's been good. So here's my honest take on this bike and how it pertains to law enforcement. First and foremost, tons of fun. If you have a, a kid who's 12 and up, I highly recommend this thing. Um, even myself, I was gonna buy one for me and my wife when we go to the beach and whatnot. If you wanna just cruise around, this thing is super fun. So I recommend you getting one for your personal life. Uh, again, if you have a child, they're gonna love it, 12 and up. Now for police agencies, maybe some community units, or even having it where they have event management, such as concerts or festivals, where they can have some of these bikes that are just designated, attached to that unit, so when officers work it, they have the opportunity to sign one of these bikes out and patrol around the concert area, or patrol around some kind of convention. So these are perfect for that. If you're gonna go high speed, if you're talking about bike response teams, if you're talking about officers that are affecting a lot of arrests and using the bikes um, for proactive patrol, I probably wouldn't recommend this bike here, only because of the, some of the stuff that I talked about before. If you're a security company, perfect. I think these things are perfect. It's cheaper than getting golf carts, the Segway, the standing up and riding Segway, cheaper than that. Uh, you can buy a ton of these things and you can cycle through them uh, as needed. So if you're a security company, I would highly recommend getting these for your people. Also for police agencies, some support units. So if you have public service aides that are working events, or you have code enforcement that are on foot patrol in downtown areas, or parking enforcement that's on foot patrol in downtown areas, you might look into getting some of these for those units. Low speed units that are not gonna be doing some uh, tactical maneuvers, or even affecting a lot of arrest, this thing might be perfect for their situation. Hope you guys enjoyed this first gear review here, the Jetson folding bike. Now I gotta go return this thing to my son, but I'm telling you, man, it just looks cool. That black on black, you know me, I like the black on black stuff. It looks cool, it's super fun to ride. I mean, I highly recommend you guys getting one of these for your kids, or your department, two thumbs up. All right, guys, I'll see you when I see you, and if I don't see you, I'll be on this Jetson bike. All right, let's turn this power on here. Bang.